All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my monthly review for this month's issue of the Walking Dead comic book series. This is for issue 176. It is part two of six for New World Order. And spoiler warning, as per usual, if you guys have not read this issue yet, you'll probably want to read it before you watch this uh, review. So, um, this issue for me went by super fast. When I got to the end of it, when I got to the end of reading, I was like, what, that's it? It's over? Um, because it just felt like, you know, almost nothing happened. But, so, you know, something big did happen in the issue. Um, we got to see the continuation of what's been happening with the Commonwealth, and we got to see Michonne actually face-to-face -face meet her daughter, uh, Lodi, who's working at a, um, a bakery shop and you have pretty much in the commonwealth everyone gets a job and it's it's basically you know the restart of civilization uh, 50,000 people according to the uh, political lady on the front which we now know as Pamela Milton uh, and we do get to meet some of the uh, the higher ranking I want to say politicians or characters in the commonwealth she calls herself the uh, the governor of the commonwealth which I thought was kind of funny um but it, it seems like in this case, actually like a legitimate, you know, <laughs> governor, not like some psycho likes to cut people's hands off and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, so far as what we've seen, this group really does look like they're, uh, you know, a group that could be potential allies to Rick and the others, or maybe a group that Rick and the others would simply want to just go and join. It does bring up some interesting questions for what we're going to see, which would be like, will Rick and the others, after they've built up their communities and they have all these great things going, would they be interested in just leaving? that all behind and just going to the commonwealth you know integrating with them and just living with them would they be able to even do that um you know so it does bring up some kind of intriguing uh, angles here for the possible foreseeable future um, with a group that is this large as the commonwealth and one that has effectively uh restarted uh, society you we get to see some nice splash pages in this one where we get to see kind of the uh, the market um at the commonwealth and it looks just like maybe you know a uh, street market in in real life in certain uh, locations uh, on the planet and in regular you know non-zombie apocalypse uh, living we also do get a mention of one of what seems like the brutes they call them so they call their brutes their uh, their fighters that look like the zombie apocalypse stormtroopers that have all the gear on and everything and a mention of uh, from one of them of mercer who and he says that he loves taking out swarms uh, we also get the impression that uh, the uh, fighters that were left behind or the brutes that were left behind in the prior uh, issues were basically just killing zombies like straight through for like uh, who knows how long just wiping out a whole uh, herd or a whole swarm systematically repositioning and and, uh, you know, well-oiled machine, and we get this comparison throughout this issue to uh, machinery or, um, you know, things kind of working like a well-oiled machine, uh, be it society and, um, you know, her, Pamela kind of explaining to Michonne and the others that that's the way, that's their philosophy, is that they see society as a well-oiled machine, everyone kind of having a job to do, and if that isn't kind of reproduced in the zombie apocalypse, instead you get uh, chaos, and her as well wanting to know about um, uh, Michonne's community that she comes from. Michonne has really given much up so far but now that um you know she's discovered that they have her her daughter uh i would think that well you know maybe i shouldn't say they have her daughter, like not like a captured kind of way you know she's living there they protected her and they've given her a job to do at a bakery so um you know it's pretty cool to see um just a group like this at first as i was reading it through we meet this um Let's see, uh, Maxwell Hawkins character. I got the sense like, okay, you have a bunch of rich people uh, living in this community at the Commonwealth who are like, you know, working like regular jobs, some of which probably have never even killed a single zombie, or if they did, it's been probably years since they have because they have their uh, systematic brutes that go around and, and uh, their fighters who go around and, <clears throat> like a military, uh, kill, kill the zombies so that the people who live inside of the uh, Commonwealth don't have to worry at all about that kind of thing, which is, uh, you know, it's great for them for sure. Uh, I got a little bit of maybe a Land of the Dead feel when we met the uh, Maxwell character, but in this case, it really does seem like the people in the Commonwealth, at least so far, based on what we've seen with Michonne, um, and Pamela allowing her to see to see her daughter right away as soon as she mentions it, uh, being a mother her, herself, not wanting to keep her from her daughter at all, realizing that, okay, whatever conversations they have is probably not going to do much good right now. Michonne's not going to listen because really she just wants to see her, her daughter again, which was a great scene at the end, uh, or pay a couple pages at the end there when you get to see uh, Michonne reunited with her daughter. Uh, is touching, and, you know, we've been in the series now with Michonne for a super long time. She's one of the earliest survivors in the series coming in pretty, uh, pretty early on there um 
And so that was a great scene for her and to get to see, uh, you know, all of that. Maxwell's kind of uh, asking what their professions were before the zombie apocalypse. And it seems like it seems like they're more interested in kind of a, another layer of society than what we're used to in The Walking Dead. Usually in The Walking Dead, when you have an interview going on, you'd be looking at people and they're more interested in what they can do in the zombie apocalypse versus what they could do prior in, in regular life. The Commonwealth, in this case, kind of asking what they can do in terms of society because they basically rebuilt civilization, you're welcome, that kind of, uh, that kind of deal. Um, which, you know, we've kind of touched on recently in the reviews that it's kind of crazy because a lot of us would think that we follow Rick because uh, Rick is the one that uh, would, you know, be the leader that would start the group that would restart civilization. That's that's what a lot of us kind of think. Uh, some people hate that idea of Rick as kind of like a chosen one or that kind of deal. And uh, if you if you do, then I, I think you would certainly like this Commonwealth group because they've basically done it all without Rick or the others being involved whatsoever. They certainly don't need, uh, you know, the survivor's help. They don't need... Um, you know, maybe they could add to their numbers a little bit, but when you have over 50,000 people adding a group of a dozen or two dozen, you know, really doesn't do all that much. So we'll have to see what this is kind of building up to. It's only part two of six for this group, but so far the group looks like they're uh, really reasonable. They look like they're, you know, uh, at possible allies. They don't seem like they're uh, villains, but who knows? There could be a twist coming up here at the end. We're going to have to uh, wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it is, it is cool to kind of see them. Let's go over a little bit. So we got her on the cover, Pamela. Um, have you seen my mom is shown part? My daughter is alive. Some of the pictures uh, are years old. Uh, Lance says uh, Magna kind of gets mad at him and says you <laughs> you think you're funny. And the problem is Lance knows he is. He seems a lot like Negan. You know, after reading him, you know, I'm wondering like is Negan's last name Hornsby? It, could this be a family reunion type of thing? Michonne's reunited with her daughter. Uh, a lot of people think that Lance might be Negan's brother or something. So that's kind of funny. He does look a lot like him. So if that's where they're going with this, that could be could be kind of funny. And he certainly with his uh, wit. Um, and you know saying that he knows he's funny uh, is quite similar to Negan in that way so we'll have to see if maybe that's where they're going with it eventually we got the splash pages showing the commonwealth we've got Stephanie who we meet for the first time visually we get to see her for the first time with Eugene she kind of runs up even though she's not supposed to <laughs> and she reminds me of what's the what's the girl's name from Scooby-Doo I forget I forget her name with the glasses and stuff you guys are it kind of looks like that <laughs> it's like nerdy so she's perfect for Eugene I think that'll work out just perfectly for him that'll be funny and a possible love interest in the future for him um um, we've got uh, Eugene saying he was a science teacher. We've got Michonne who's a lawyer. So Maxwell allows uh, the lawyer to go in, and uh, even though he doesn't really know Michonne at this point, because uh, Michonne, um, even though she was a lawyer, you know, prior, you know, she might not be the best one to kind of interview or to discuss with, uh, considering how she's been in the zombie apocalypse and how she's changed. But we may see a change back now that she's found out that her daughter is alive, and uh, you know, some happiness for her. So. Um, she might be more extroverted now, more open and nicer to everybody, considering that, uh, you know, she hasn't lost absolutely everybody from her prior life. Uh, you know, her daughter, obviously, uh, everyone's daughter, very important to them. Um, let's see. So we've got, we're civilization. It's back. You're welcome. Am I supposed to say thank you? We've got the soldiers mentioning Mercer and uh, civilization, the machine comparison and philosophy and Michonne as an engine. So, yeah, and then the, even the brutes being very important as well, too. Um and then her being reunited with her daughter. So, and that's it, you know, for the issue. The splash pages took up a bit, but we did kind of need to see that. Um, you know, still interesting as per usual for The Walking Dead. But I'm just, uh, I'm just like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I used to a little bit. I don't know, I'm not used to this in The Walking Dead. You know, it's a nice change, I guess. You know, not. You know, we didn't get to see any zombies in this issue. We didn't get to see any killing in this issue. Um, you know, no darkness is all brightness and shiny, and you know that kind of thing with Michonne and, and her seeing her daughter again. This new community score. I mean, you know, I, I guess like maybe a seven and a half out of ten for this uh, issue. It just went by really fast for me. And even though the ending was touching, I was kind of like, you know, is this The Walking? What what book am I reading? Is this still The Walking Dead? what's going on here uh so it's really really strange but a new direction and keeping it fresh with the series and uh you know intriguing folk we'll see in the uh, the future and you know what kind of problems could the group this massive have uh maybe bigger group bigger problems we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait and see what happens so um good issue for michonne fans i guess and and you know i i enjoyed it it was pretty good it just went by so fast let me know what you guys uh, thought about the issue leave your comments below and if you like this video please thumb it up below where do you think that they're going with this uh, you know new world order um you know but good guys new 
<laughs> World Order uh, group led by uh, Pamela and, uh, and Lance and uh, Maxwell here. What do you think? Just leave your comments below. How are you feeling about this uh, being in The Walking Dead? It is uh, quite a bit different from what we're, what we're used to. That'll be it for this video, guys. Check out these other videos if you missed them, if you haven't seen them there. And I'll see you again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.